changed up my smoothie today. This is my green smoothie, but it looks a little bit brown because instead of the yogurt today, I put in um, about a tablespoon of peanut butter and also some raw cacao powder. I'm about to taste it for the first time and hopefully it tastes good. So cheers. Mm, it is really good. The peanut butter, I guess I didn't put enough. It's not that strong. We are done with our eat at home challenge now. So we will be buying some food from outside. I had this idea that I wanted to eat a muffin today and I forgot until just now. Instead, I'm just gonna have the smoothie and then I'm gonna make focaccia to have with our chili. It's funny because yesterday I talked to you guys in my vlog about wanting to change things up and feeling a little bit bored with my vlog content and today Today, I felt the motivation to record a few different clips. During my morning pages session today, I also um, jotted down what I like to see in videos or in shows and such. Hopefully you'll see a little bit more variety in my clips. Um, I'm also gonna change it up in terms of like what I'm wearing and such because that's an element that I really like. So you guys know I've been watching Shits Creek lately and one thing that I really like about the show is seeing all of the different outfits and such. Although I'm not gonna be like fancying it up that much, I will try to put on a nice top or something like that or something different anyway this isn't exactly nice but it's different from what i typically wear so in terms of the interest element i'm gonna try to switch up um like clothing and backgrounds and angles and such i'm also going to try to keep um most of the clips quite short except for probably one long rambly clip which will be the topic of the vlog so i'm gonna try out that format for a while i tend to get bored with the format of my vlog after a certain time but what I like about talking to you guys and just being like really open and forthcoming about how I'm feeling is that um, it gives me a little bit of a kick in the pants some accountability and I tend to get a lot of motivation from that so I just talked to you guys about taking a pause yesterday and then already today I've um, switched things up a little bit at least in my mind maybe it's still very similar uh, in terms of like how you see my vlogs but um, in my mind I've switched things up a bit <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is 8 a.m. Sunday morning. It's going to be a beautiful day today. I am out for my walk. It's not quite super warm yet, like it's going to be this afternoon. I think it's around 10 degrees now, but it's supposed to go up to 17, 18, 19 degrees, which is incredible. But I won't be out during that time because I'm gonna get all my steps in now. But it's nice to see the sun. The last time it was raining, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, I decided to clean the balcony again because I knew there was going to be this nice stretch of weather coming up and I was thinking hubby and I could bring up the camping chairs and sit outside on the balcony it might just be me because hubby wasn't too crazy with that idea he likes sitting inside on the couch where it's comfortable and cozy but I figured um, I could get a little bit of fresh air on the balcony and just sit out there and maybe read a book or something like that so we'll see how that goes um, that's going to be today so I can enjoy a little bit of um, the nice weather. Here is our dinner tonight. We're having the last of the chili I made. I put a dollop of sour cream on top. I made focaccia yesterday, the same um, rosemary garlic one, and we ate half of it yesterday. We're gonna eat the other half today. We're having a coffee cake stout from Indie Ale House. We had a breakfast porter yesterday and it went really well with the chili and the focaccia. We're having a pretty early dinner. It's only 3.30, but I really love to eat early and just take my time eating dinner and then dessert. So um should be done by like 5.30 or so, hopefully. It's Monday, May 4th today. Hubby bought us Paramount takeout for dinner. 
He bought three of these chicken shawarma wraps, but they're quite a bit smaller than the ones we've had before. So we're each having a one and a half and it came with fries. This is the first time I've had food that I haven't made at home because I was on an impromptu eat at home challenge. I am waiting for the subway and uh, there's nobody here but me. I saw a few people coming out when I was coming in. He is um, all cozied up. It's not that cold today, but just in case. I'm out of the subway now and I'm walking to the vet's office. I'm quite out of breath just from the steps that I had to walk up to get to this point of the walk and also with the mask being on, I also think I overdressed a little bit. I just dropped off Truffle at the vet's clinic back here. I don't know if you can see it. They're not allowing people to go in with the fur babies. You basically have to call them from the parking area and then they come out and um, take your pet and then they'll return the pet once they're done. So Truffle's in there now and I'm just kind of like pacing the parking lot. All well done at the vet. Truffle did a really good job, I think. <laughs> I talked to the vet and uh, she just gave me some tips on how to keep his weight up. So he is back in the Ikea bag now and we're just waiting for the subway. Hey everyone, Truffle and I are back from the vet safe and sound. He is pretty angry though and gave me like a bunch of foot flicks which is basically like his disapproval and he ran into his playpen and he's just like in there sulking now. I'm gonna go check on him in a little bit but first I'm going to have my breakfast. I'm back to the yogurt smoothie. I didn't love the peanut butter one. The first taste was good but then it just became too much. Not that it felt heavy but it kind of tasted too rich for my liking. So I'm back to my yogurt version which is um, right now still my favorite and I'm gonna be making refried beans. We're gonna have Taco Tuesday today. It's also Cinco de Mayo. So instead of um, going out for burritos like we normally do, we're gonna do a like surf and turf taco night. I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm doing laundry right now and it's on like the spin cycle. The vet took extra long today. I um, was waiting outside for an hour and all in from door to door, it was three hours, which is a lot longer than normal. Usually I can make it back in like two, two and a half hours max. So it was um, at least double the time at the vet. Truffle couldn't hold his pee, so he peed in the bag, which he never does. So that's how long it took. I'm just gonna cut one more small onion for the Instant Pot. Get these working away. Chop up the garlic. Rinse off the pinto beans, get those in there with all of the spices and such, and that'll be it. It's about an hour in the Instant Pot, so this takes quite a long time to cook down because I'm using dry beans. I made these for truffle, and I'm gonna see if he wants to eat them. They're basically critical care, but baked in the toaster oven. The vet suggested that I give this a try since he doesn't always love critical care. He'll eat it if he's really hungry, but otherwise, he doesn't really eat it all that much. He'll turn away from it sometimes. He's just really fussy. So the vet suggested this and I'm gonna see if um, he'll eat it. They smell pretty good, so maybe he'll like this. Lulu definitely wants a piece, but she can't have this. This is for truffle. This is for truffle. Oh, he yay. likes it. Oh, yay. <laughs> truffle tends to like dried stuff. So he loves like dried apple, dried papaya, raisins, that sort of thing. But he doesn't like the wet fruit. So this was, um, a very good idea. Yay, I'm so happy she suggested this. He ate it all. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. He ate it so fast. Was it yummy? Was it yummy, Truffle? Oh, what a good boy. We've got corn and flour tortillas. Hubby prefers flour and I prefer corn. Got our hot sauces, of course. The refried beans I made today. An avocado that I'm going to cut into. 
some shredded cheese. It's smoked cheddar. This is a flank steak that I marinated in bulgogi sauce and I just seared it and then sliced it. Some very simple pan fried shrimp. We will have to take the shells off before putting them in our taco. We've got some pickled vegetables here, onions and hot peppers, some sour cream, and I also made some coleslaw with um, cabbage and lettuce because I didn't have enough cabbage left. So this is going to be our Cinco de Mayo feast. Tubby brought home some more baklava today. This is from Paramount. They look so delicious. I can't wait to eat them. We just had a repeat of Taco Tuesday. It is Wednesday today, but um, we had a bunch of stuff left over and then I just pan fried some more shrimp. So we had um, shrimp tacos for dinner tonight and now we're gonna have this for dessert. Morning everyone. It is 9 a.m. Saturday and it is quite chilly today. I think it is below zero degrees Celsius with the wind chill and there were a few flurries just now. I think they've stopped but I'm just taking um, kind of like a walk around the block or rather a walk around several blocks and trying to get my steps in before the day gets away from me. I'm finding that my willpower is a little bit um, low lately. I haven't been craving a lot of hot food like meals and such but rather I've been craving a lot of junk food and snacks. So even after my vlog where I talked about potentially not buying ice cream anymore when we were done, I went ahead and I bought two more. I did try to buy the lighter one, so I ended up with the pineapple coconut one, but still I said I wasn't gonna buy it and I still bought it. I normally would have bought four, so I guess that's some improvement. But today I also bought chips. I did look at the small bags with the intention of buying that for myself, but I didn't realize that the price of small bags had gone up so much and the big bags were on sale for two for five. I ended up buying ruffles. I bought all dressed and uh, I bought hubby the sour cream and onion. Hubby was so excited because he loves chips and hubby's actually lost a bunch of weight. So I thought I noticed this, but I didn't really pay that much attention. But his coworkers have been commenting on how he's lost weight. And when I was talking to him about it, he said his jeans are fitting looser. Maybe it's all the smoothies and the healthy food we've been eating. It's been having more of an impact on his weight than on mine because uh, I haven't lost weight at all. I figure if we buy chips like once or twice a month, it's still not too bad. I made Rice Krispie squares again. I've just been craving a lot of like sugar and junk food and I find my willpower just isn't quite there. I've also been eating a lot of veggies, so I guess it kind of balances it out. And I've been loving the smoothies and yogurt and all of that good stuff. Really into working on my website right now because it is already the 11th and I set the launch date for May 20th. Today I had a little bit of a um, panic moment because I feel like there are still some things I want to do and of course I don't have to finish it all. I can build out sections later but I really do want to have all of the pieces that I have in my mind ready to go for the 20th. But I was a bit worried so I even thought about delaying the launch date but I don't think I'm going to do that because it's a personal website. It's going to change with time because I'm going to change with time. I think what I'm going to try to do is finish building out all of the content um, tonight or tomorrow and then I'm going to spend a full week um, editing because a lot of this stuff I just kind of like typed in without really thinking about it or without um, proofreading anything. I spent a lot of time today on um, the home page. I'm also working on and now page, which I'm very excited about. That's going to capture a lot of the stuff that um, doesn't really have a home on the website right now. So I'm going to use the now page as um, something that reflects what I'm working on and um, the things that I'm excited about right now. I thought I should finish off the vlog though because um, I started editing it yesterday and I have um, quite a lot of clips. I was motivated to film a lot of days and I recorded different clips so you'll see me in different areas of the condo you'll see me outside and only one clip i think with this background before i go though i wanted to pop on to say that i am very proud of myself i have been practicing moderation very very well so you guys know i had a little lapse in my willpower and i bought ice cream which we haven't eaten yet and i also bought chips i bought two big bags one for hubby and one for myself hubby finished his in pretty much like a day and a half 
but I was very, very good. It was a 200 gram bag and I measured out servings of 50 grams each day. So the bag ended up lasting three days, not four, because I ended up um, sharing with hubby today. So I had 50 grams and then he had the rest of the bag. That is big for me. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know how much I love binging on chips, even though I feel the after effects and I've talked about the negative after effects of just like my throat hurting and all of that, but I love binging on chips. And I used to think that um, in order for me to not binge on chips, I had to abstain from buying chips completely. I couldn't have them in the condo, but I've been feeling a shift lately. And maybe this started with the chocolate fingers because I used to binge on the chocolate fingers as well. And now I never even crave more than one. I'll just enjoy my one and that'll be it. It's not even a question in my mind anymore. So that very small thing made me feel more confident about moderation. And when I had the lapse in willpower and I bought the chips, I was a little bit down on myself that day. But then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to shift my perspective on this. Maybe it's a good thing to have them in the house because then I can practice moderation. I can exercise that muscle. And I did, and I'm so, so proud of myself. Chips are a hard one for me. I have a little bit more of a belief in myself that if I have them in the condo, I won't necessarily binge on them. So that makes me feel really good. I'm still not going to buy chips all the time because I don't want to test myself all the time. And I do tend to want to eat them a few days in a row just because I don't want them to go stale. So hubby and I did talk about this very briefly. It wasn't really an in-depth conversation like it is now when I'm talking to you guys about it. I think I'm good to eat them you know once or twice a month or maybe not at all depending on um how we feel i was looking back at when i bought those old dutch chips i really love seeing things in dates I thought that i had bought those towards the end of april but i actually bought them in mid-april i think it was like april 17th so that means um it has almost been a full month since we've had chips so i don't feel so bad anymore i'm actually really proud of myself and i'm glad i was able to shift my perspective and look at it as an opportunity rather than something to berate myself over so just a silly little example, but um, small wins really do add up and I feel like that's a great way to build confidence and to build um, that muscle of believing in yourself, which is what my year is all about. That is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll leave again some questions for you guys down below and you can answer them if you like. Some, all, none, it's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna post my next vlog probably after my website launches. I might still record clips for my next vlog here and there, but I don't know if I'm gonna have all that much motivation or time to edit because I really do wanna concentrate on the website and I don't want to delay the launch date. I don't really enjoy putting things off because then I just worry about them for longer. I'd rather just stick with the original target date that I had set for myself. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!